So I've been trying to postpone this for as long as possible. And I've been kicking against it because I don't necessarily like the feeling. But I think it might be time for a moose. I've got a, got a puncture here. And that's not looking too good. So I think I have identified the culprit. Um, but there's, to be honest, there's a few of these around the wheel. And it must have been from my escapades last weekend or two weekends ago with the uh, hazy view and not too bad here we go first bridge that's awesome So welcome to another edition of Mostly Motion. I've got the KTM 300 on the back here and I've been kicking against getting a moose for quite a while because I don't really like the feeling that they give. It makes the front end feels a, feel a bit dead and um, I'm not used to the feeling so maybe that's the issue. I've ridden a couple of bikes with a moose in the front and all of the times I haven't loved it but seeing as the bike is going to Ivan now anyway to have that rebound adjuster um, sorted and that I have a puncture I thought I might as well put a moose in the front there and give it a try. So what a moose does it actually replaces your front tube, uh, your front inner tube which makes it impossible to get a puncture or a snake bite or what you want to call it uh, there's no air so the air can't escape and that means that no punctures the other benefit of, of running the moose in the the rear tire and the front I suppose is that it helps you emulate running a lower pressure in the front and in the rear especially for more grip and more traction that's the theory anyway so it seems to have worked on the hazy view in Dero a couple of weeks ago and now we're gonna give it a bash in the front uh, maybe put a comment down below what your favorite option is whether you like running a moose or a tube maybe an enduro tube um, in South Africa the option of tubeless systems don't seem to be that popular and I think it's a little bit expensive to do I haven't seen many of those or heard of many guys running those but um, comment your favorite sort of inner tube solution for enduro bikes especially down below and what your favorite moose is if you are running one because I'm about to put one on and I'd like to make the right decision rush home now to uh, to get the light still it's after five and it's it's uh, winter time in South Africa at the moment so the sun's gonna go down any minute I want to feel what this moose feels like you know I've always had not so great experiences with uh, with mooses not that anything happened anything bad they just didn't feel great to me so there's that I see that 990 around here often. Just put some boots on, I'm still in my jeans. I'm obviously not gonna ride the most technical stuff. Just to get an idea of uh, the moose. So, so far the moose, uh, mooses have felt dead and not so great and so on, but I, I must be honest, immediately with this one, it's a Dunlop moose. Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel too bad. I can't actually feel a difference. I wouldn't be able to tell. Maybe I'm just not used to this bike enough, but no, it doesn't feel too bad at all. And um, this clicker is sorted now, so as well. So I can adjust the suspension accordingly. 
yeah this is <laughs> where am I going I'm not too sure where I'm going or where I want to go with this no, it's just feeling it out yeah so this is not in my backyard my house is somewhere there this is next to the main street that goes to our house but we've got this lovely little rock garden playing area here which I like that's awesome and it's ideal for this situation we just want to feel what's going on I'm not mentally prepared to ride a motorbike today <laughs> such a rush just to get back here and have some sunlight but sure thanks for all your comments thanks for subscribing on the channel that's amazing the amount of people who are watching at the time of this video we're just over 12,000 views people saying they like what we do I haven't seen many South African Enduro channels and this is seems to be more or less what it's turning into more of an Enduro type channel um, although we still have other projects and other bikes that we want to do I just had a look at a KTM 640 a couple of minutes ago as well which is one of the reasons why I'm rushing so much I'm a bit late I didn't ride it but I'm sort of in between maybe you can help me out in between buying an adventure bike or buying a trials bike to get better at this stuff that we are doing I'm not sure what direction I want to go into I'm not sure what the best is obviously the trials bike will advance my riding more if I ride it often and hard but um, an adventure bike seems like such fun so it seems like I'm wrong about a lot of stuff um, I think I'm wrong about dissing the GoPros the last while I've been having trouble with my GoPro and it looks like it wasn't the GoPro's fault maybe mine we'll find out soon enough but uh, there's that and then I'm also wrong about the moose it feels lively it feels responsive it feels okay maybe it was just the bikes setup the ones that I've been riding with mooses on that I didn't love so much so sorry moose sorry for dissing you let's feel what it feels like if it's biting in the front here yeah I feel there's lots of traction I'm ba barely using the rear brake there letting it bite feels pretty good I ran a moose in the rear in the hazy view enduro lots of traction there didn't have any issues I'm gonna try and turn around here yep and then run up this rock make hay while the sun shines right I'm glad I did it okay it's a couple of bucks it's 2200 Rand I don't know how many dollars that is but it's quite a few for the front moose and the rear is also somewhere around there a little bit more but I'm glad I did it I don't have to worry about punctures anymore and I can focus on the riding and getting better every single time the suspension clicker was sorted out but I'm I am under the suspicion that the suspension wasn't set up to the way that I I had it before because it's feeling a little bit harsh not uncontrollable but it's feeling a little bit harsh yeah definitely a bit more harsh than what I had it at oh I smell porcupine it's quite a distinct smell so I'll fiddle around with the suspension a little bit more and get to know it a little bit better maybe do some settings and I'll keep you up to date for now moose successfully installed the clicker on the suspension successfully sorted uh, he had a look at the the carburetor as well he's pretty happy with the way that it's set up that's now Ivan the mechanic there he's pretty happy with that pretty happy bike so from this lovely view from Nelspreit right here in sunny Pumalanga South Africa beautiful view thank you so much for watching mostly motion I will see you in the next video where 
we're going to look at this camera setup that I'm using, maybe changing the camera setting setup a little bit, and then why I've been so hard on GoPro. Maybe it's my fault. Um, I've got a couple of ideas to change that up. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. And thank you for watching Mostly Motion.